Go off your intro you want to make. It's your channel. It's your intro, not mine. Nah, it's going to be it's going to be everybody's intro depending on which. Everybody. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't even know what to say because if I say, "Well, all right, welcome back." Uh today we're doing a Montana World tier list of every varied of monster. Let's do this shit. Oh, no introduction for your friends. Got it. All right, mage, go. I'm waiting. Nah, it's your shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are. Right, you see the monsters, right? Yes. Where's Jagras? First off, in the bet, it would be Great Jagras. Right here. By the book. So, where should we put him? That's tier. You see, you might be right here. <laughs> listen, listen. Look at that chin. No, nah, dude, listen. I used just a speed run him for fun. S tier because he's perfect for bullying. That are, are we doing? No, question is, are we just doing like based on their hunts, based on their appearance, or are we like smash or pass? <laughs> okay, we'll make another one for next the next video. <laughs> smash or pass monster hunter edition all right but let's just i guess we'll do the seriousness for a se couple seconds and do the joking manner later <laughs> we'll think about it bye so should we just put him around b since he's a starting monster as a starting monster he's a good gateway because he doesn't have anything that like super throws monsters out there like he's not summoning lightning from the sky like <laughs> later monsters <laughs> <Fair>. <laughs> Because of audio, uh, Tristan. Yeah, I, I would put him at a solid, like, C. All right. Because he's a good entryway. What was the second monster we had to fight? What was it? Um, Cuckoo. The pigeon? Chicken. Cuckoo. All right. So, annoying he is. Get, we all agree he's annoying, right? I put him as a B tier only because of the Behemoth quest. Fair, fine. Behemoth, fine. Because of Behemoth quest. Because I thought he was actually fun during the Behemoth quest, how he just constantly keeps getting bigger in size. Bird up, like, bird up. Big J. <laughs> right, he's over here just like, bird up. Good. <laughs> um, Third month should uh, be... Not Devil Joe. That Devil Joe was... Huh? Devil Joe was later, good sir. Yeah. I've... I, quite a few monsters. Next one, I believe, would be Pookie Pookie. Pookie Pookie? Where is he? Where's that green mm -hmm. thing? There it is. B tier. I'm gonna put it in B tier. Reasoning? Reasoning, it's because it was really the first... Uh, the, it was really the first monster we had to introduce items into in Cure Poke. Cure poison and stuff like that. So I feel like it, that was important. He was the first one to introduce elements, so like poison. Okay, so B tier. I, put, I would probably put him C because he's introduction to elements. All right. Pretty much every monster past this point does some kind of element. Because right. both Jaggers and Cuckoo, both what they really did was stun. That was it. And then going into Pookie, it's your first introduction to poison, and it's not even that strong. Baroth next? No, Baroth's in the same oh, place. No, Baroth is next. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it would be like so Raffi and Raffi. Uh, can I get two number ones and one number nine? Uh, two number ones and one All right, so nine. we're going to put Rocky Boy then. He was boring. He was literally a boring fight. I'm not gonna lie. Who the hell is ordering McDonald's? I wish I had. Hey, also I had a McDonald's Sprite to my order. A number seven, two elegant fries, one with cheese. So we put bear off in D tier. What's next? Uh, 
annoying, boring to fight. Uh, who's next after Barrios? After Barrios is Giratotis. Giratotis, the fish. In my defense, in my defense, even though I didn't been say nothing, Giratotis was down bad trash in the world. I'm sorry. He was nothing good about him. Rise did it better. Yeah. You might have to mute your mic and then talk when you unmute. All right? Yeah. All right. Um, in my defense, Jared Totus and World was easy and ha- like basically too much of boring. It was boring until yeah, Rice. Can really look at a lot of them. Baroff was the first one to actually introduce Water Blight. He didn't do it much, but he did it. While well, Jared Totus did it more often, but at the same time, Jared Totus was only limited to a lot of the water areas. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I would put Jared Totus in like D tier. B tier? Yeah, I'd probably put Jared Totus as a D Delta. Delta, yeah. Makes sense because he only yeah. did what he was not basically a threat like how in Rise he was actually a threat. He wasn't memorable enough to be put anywhere right, like, else higher. Like, if I remember correctly, Jared Totus, I think, is the official first quote unquote wall. Uh, I, I thought um, Diablos was the first actual wall. Technically, the first wall, I think it's Raffia. I think he, I think Jared no, wasn't a, um, a uh, wall. Oh, yeah, I think Jared yeah, wasn't yeah. a wall yet. I think Raffia was the wall, I think. Yeah. But. Yeah, technically, it's your first flying wyvern. Yeah. It's Toby Kodachi, where you put him as? Uh, Toby, I would probably put Toby at like. Toby was an interesting fight. I would probably put it at about B tier. B tier? Yeah. I'd put Toby somewhere between C and B. So, high C, low B, in a nutshell. Give or take, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because he's, fir- he's the first, th- well, not the first Fang Wyvern. Technically, Jagras was your first Fang Wyvern. Yeah. Then. In my defense, I would have put him higher, but he just—he was the first agile base fight, right. in my opinion. He was the—he was the quickest one out of the one so far. Right. Then yeah. you have Anjanaf. Anjanaf, honestly, hit or miss. Anjanaf was like, but, but but hear me out on this. Hear me out on this. Anjanaf was like one of the monsters that was difficult for people. Right well, now, yes okay. and no, because again, if we're going over certain standpoints, like people who use long swords or dual the toothpick thousand nine thousands, they just just start shaking his legs and you're done. I would probably put an engine app at probably like either like a C or B. It kind of depends. See, the difference for me, I would probably put Angie as a D, only because he's an easy fight. His- it, it's, a, it's a relatively easy fight, but thinking of how World is, which World is an entry level game for people who aren't new or who are not used to the Monster Hunter game, he is yeah. a relatively early easy fight. It just he looks really menacing because I don't know, it's a T Rex. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going off of. If I remember correctly, we are going off of. Uh, if I remember correctly, we're going off of um, beginning wise, right? Not like later on, right? Yeah. All right, make it sure. So then we come up to the first wall, which would be the first flagship monster, Rathian. All right, where would we, we put Anjan D tier, you said? Yeah. All right, low D or high D? Uh, Just put him in D. Okay. Yeah. Rathian, though, I think Rathian's about an A. He did make it's people struggle. Point. I would, I I would probably... I could agree with it. Putting Rathian in A? Yeah, A. If I remember correctly, is it, is it tail or is it claws that, that do poison? I think it's tail. the tail, yeah. Oh, uh, I got him on Montana Roma check. Uh, come prepared with fire resistant armor and nectar. It's poison attacks by severe. It's tail. It's his tail. Okay. Yeah. Whenever it does this little uh, tail kind of flip thing, that's its uh, yeah. poison boss effect. All of the Rathian and Rathalos variants do a tail span. Yeah. All right. So we confirmed to put him in A because he was actually a threat. 
actually making people think of the other. Then you. And the reason why he's the first wall as well is that he's the first flying white bird as well. Making people, for instance, long swords, great swords to actually time their attacks. It's not even just. It takes a lot of the melee aspect ones have to time their attacks. So, hammer, hunting horn, dual blades, long sword, great sword, all of them have to time it and has some kind of way of knocking him out of the sky. Yeah. Yeah. But, but now, since we already put Rathian on there, shouldn't we already put Rathalos at A tier as well? Since they're yeah, the exact we're, to yet. we're going in order. Yeah. Oh, hi. All right, Titsu Q. <laughs> Rathalos isn't the exact same thing because Rathalos, weirdly enough, is a little more aggressive. Oh, yeah. And the poison comes from its claws. All right, Titsu Q. Uh, D. Titsu Take away the flash is easy. Take away the flash is an easy fight. Take away the flash is an easy fight. Uh, it's D tier simply because uh, the flash was an interesting mechanic, but it's just it the was only more weird fight. The problem with the flash mechanic, it would be, I would say it was an interesting introduction to the flash, but the problem is that it's the only monster that does flash. The Flash was interesting the first fight, but after the first fight, it got repetitive, so that's why I'm saying D tier. It's basically the only mechanic of Tizuyuku. If he didn't have the Flash, it's basically a game set match. Not even just that, like a game set match off the bat, because you can can even dodge the, the Flash attack. So D, everybody agreeing? D? Yeah. Next one is. The original. Yeah, the normal polymer. There it is. Uh, I would honestly win. It's between C and D. <laughs> Sorry, D tier right off the back for me. It's an annoying fight. See, hey. I actually found the fight interesting. Hey, uh, brother, you may want to meet your mic. Yeah. yeah. I'm using one of the hard weapons of the game, and I found it entertaining. And that's coming from a hunting horn user. I go for B because I actually had no difficulty fighting Kaluma. Because, because really, the only thing that the the thing that Kaluma did introduce, well, Rassi kind of introduced it as well, which is the wind pressure. Yeah. So B. I would put him probably around C. Put me in the middle there. All right. So yeah. around C, around this tier, yeah. Uh, now it's time to enter the Rotten Vale. First one, Great Jairus. Uh, Great Jairus is basically a a knockoff uh, skin of Jagras. Jagras. But Jagras. The difference between um, Brock, so that's the only difference. It brings back the Thunder Blight because the first one to do that technically was Toby, but he only did that with a handful of attacks. Yeah, but with. Uh, Gyros, it's a little bit more. What's yeah. the word? Gyros, I would put him higher than Jagras only because with Gyros, you actually have to micromanage your your fight a lot more. Yeah. I would put him you, have about to, you have to worry about the effluvia. You have to worry about uh, his poison. You have to worry about the, uh, not poison, but his paralysis. You have to worry about his, uh, his minions he summons paralysis. All it's right, so what's your reporting, man? Micromanaging. It was an actual good technical fight. Yeah. So, great zero sh- around B? That's it, yeah, I agree that, with yeah, B, too. <laughs> Lizard. Uh, Rota, <laughs> Rota, 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 Rotobon. Rota, 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 Rotobon. <laughs> Roly Poly's Thank Mark you. 1. He really didn't introduce anything new, except he just kept putting his armor back on. And that was more interesting than anything. Sorry about my son. I'm going to say, really say, gonna say uh, B tier simply because it was a good monster for farming. Well, it's probably one of the easiest to farm. So B or C? Uh, I'm saying C because, honestly, the fight was 
Alright, Lake Yana. Alright, you should, yeah. Lake Yana, my opinion. I hated the fight. It was annoying. I'm not gonna lie, it was. <laughs> but I'm not gonna. Wait, seven page? Did he say E tier? He said C tier immediately. I'm gonna say, since Lake Yana was a fight that I had to adapt to, it was annoying, but yet. No, actually, no, that was actually later on. It was a good fight. It was an actual good fight, in my opinion. Uh, look, he also did bring in the first uh, quote-unquote Ice Blight, even though it did the exact same thing as Water Blight. Yeah, I, I, I would put it at, like, a motherfucking damn... B at highest. All right, B it, it is. Good. It was good, but not, like enough for A tier. Alright, uh, next one, Clifford. <laughs> muscle oh, Puppy, Red Clifford. I will put Muscle Puppy at a B tier. It was a phenomenal fight, but uh, you know, it doesn't compare to Ebony Muscle Puppy. But honestly, since we're just going on that variant, looking back, I would probably honestly... My own opinion, I would put it at A. Mage, your opinion? Mm. I would probably put... I'd probably put Clifford probably around a B as well. Only because, like, the only things he really did... Was bleed proc. It was... Bleed proc. That was it. Is technically Nothing now else. Your first introduction at this point. Nothing else, and it was like basically easier said, game said, and done. It's, it's a bleed proc agile bastard. That's really much what he is. So B. All right. Yeah, next one is Rathalos. Rathalos. Uh, Rathalos. We just want to put him at I, A. I don't know because. Uh, put put Rathalos. Probably in the same spot, or not in the same spot as Rathian, but below it, because it's pretty much copy-paste, they just moved the poison. So, so A or high B, right? B. Oh, B. High B, then. Alright, so next is Kit Diablos. What do we have to say about him? Uh, Beginning-wise. He didn't introduce anything there, did he? He only did dig a hole, drill, dig a does. hole, drill. I feel like it was a somewhat challenging fight, though, so I'm going to put it in A tier. It was an annoying fight, but it was Debatable. Fight. The minute you figured out its pattern, it was basically game, set, match. So, besides only using drill tactic it had and breaking the torn that was easy, I got to put it at either B or C. For me, I'd probably put Diablos. The normal Diablos probably at C because he did, like I said, like he didn't introduce anything new. He just introduced a quote unquote invasion mechanic. And he is a flying wyvern, but he doesn't fly. Yep. All right. So, C, we're all going. All, it was more like, I'm, more, I'm more on the keen that Diablos would be more of a brute wyvern. Now, Karen, before Iceborne. Kieran, uh, Before Iceborne. I would put Kieran in A tier only because there were people out there challenging Arch Tempered Kieran, which is still before Iceborne, with only a weapon equipped. And that was a fun day. Jeez. I have to agree with that. Kieran is about an A tier. A tier. Because Eric, you had to literally hit his head. Alright. We have Zora Magnus. Zora Magnus. Where do you want to put Zora him? Simple mechanic, easy to do. There's nothing to say about it. Zora Magdaros is a gimmick fight. I'm going to say C or D. Yeah, I would put him in D because, like, you can't really do much to actually, quote unquote, kill him. All right, then, next one is okay, Dog. No, put him in C because his death leads to the Guiding Lands. Actually, yeah, and actually, yeah, that actually has a point. He has a purpose, not going to lie. Are you sure it's his death that brings us to the Guided Clans? Uh, 
Uh, it didn't show his death directly, but if you go into the Elder's Recess area over the Magma Zone and go hang off the side, you can see his head and the volcanic pack. Okay. Next one is Dog, uh, Dodo Gamma. Dodo Boy, S tier. <laughs> <laughs> yep, S tier. Yeah, S tier, yeah. Because your boy literally turf wars with just about everyone in the Elder's Recess and loses every time. I mean, where is Dodo S-tier. Gamma? I just lost him. But, there he is. But, but, but let's just say, but let's just say this. Dodo Gamma is, I want all the smoke and I don't care what I have to do. Right. And most of the time, he's just defending his home. All right, Pink Raffi is next. Just fat, he's just a fat kid eating rocks and <laughs> Elder right. Recess. Leave him alone. No one even calls him fat. Right. Leave a little poor tubby alone. Next one is Pink Raffi, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. Probably the same thing as normal Raffi, and it's pretty much copy based on the fight. So A or, yeah. A or B. Based. Honestly, B, because it's not the original. No. Basil Goose. F tier. Dang. Yeah, F tier. Vietnam tier. It's, it's, it's an invader species. <laughs> um, it's legitimately, you could be doing a hunt, everything could be doing good. Bum, bum, ba da 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 And then you're with or with Superman landing. Top tier. Top tier. All right, Rack next one, one. I would put him as a C because wait, who? Like, he's an invader species. Wait, there are C T or S T? You said three. basil geese. I said C. Oh, okay, makes sense. Devil Joe, the other invader species. C. Morty, I turned myself into a pickle. What? Here. I would say probably about B. Yeah, yeah he's more of a threat. Only because I main reason I put him higher than Basil is because he's a brute wyvern, right? And he wants all the smoke. Hold on, no, not that. He didn't show up in the new world at first. How did he get here? So people were theorizing that he just used his dragon blight breath attack and just project off, uh, flew himself here. <laughs> oh God, lava, uh, lava he off, lava leader. Lavathioth? Thank you. Or Lava Sloth? I don't know I what it is. Lava at. Fish. Oh, uh, it's... D-tier. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was already gonna happen. There was nothing about it. It was already gonna... It was already stated. It's just straight up... Same fucking fish boy, just fire. Right. Yeah, it, it, it's literally just a copy-paste with, like, it, one thing added to it. Right, it's copy-paste, it's fire... And his skin hard, which means he takes less damage. It, it, it's a sucky fight. All right. Uh, right Radabon's cousin, Explosive Boy. I I would put Radabon, or not Radabon, uh, Uragon in B tier because he does both blast and sleep. Yeah, no no question there, B. Azor Rathalos, the He's blue variant of... Uh... Azor Rathalos. As much as I love the color blue, it's literally a copy paste. Yeah, it's copy paste. So blue for B. Mm, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, because that, that's where we put the other copy paste. Black Diablos, where should we put her? I would actually put Black Diablos above normal Diablos because. So B. Black Diablos is actually quite a bit aggressive with her attack. You actually have to pay attention with her. And there's I'll a turf. I'll say a mid B. B tier. because she actually is the dominant one of Diablos breaking her horn. Well, it's a 50 50 chance, but you see more Black Diablos breaking Diablos' mm-hmm. horns. Yeah. And funny thing, uh, Black Diabloses are all female. Yep. In the middle of their mating cycle. Now, Nergagante at the beginning point. Nergigante? Nergigante is an immediate S-tier. Yeah, because actual Nergigante, when he came out, was an actual threat, and it was actually fun to fight. Because at this time, we didn't have skills, or a lot of people didn't have proper builds to the point of Nergi, because we didn't have, or not yet have, a lot of the uh, 
the Xeno stuff. We didn't have the cold. We didn't have the vow. All right, give it a second. Hold up. Let's go. Keep going. Part two, Electric Boogaloo. It's not part two. It's just the same one. <laughs> uh, part one point two. Close enough. Uh, Tailstra. Wait, do we didn't? Yeah, Tailstra. Did we do Tailstra yet? No, we haven't done Tailstra. Was the one we were moving on to. Tailstra, Returning Elder Dragon. Also, I think the first Elder Dragon. You have Nergi Gonti was the old Karen. first Elder Dragon. Nergi is. Karen's yes. the first Elder Dragon. Like we also didn't kill him yet at this point. Karen is the Elder Dragon. Karen was a side objective. <laughs> Fair enough. He was just kind of there, and to like to that point, if you go back, the best thing you had at that point would have been Diablo's armor. Yeah. yeah. So where would you put Teo Strat? I'm gonna say A tier. Yeah, I'd put Teo in A tier because you think it's really updated him compared to old games. Fair enough. He's actually with a friend world, in my opinion. Next one is Lunastra. Right off the rip. Uh, a tier. Yeah. Yeah. If we wanted to combine those both, they would have been more of a greater threat. Right. Like, if it was. Because they took what was already there of Teostra and then amped it up even further. And they even changed the moveset. All right. Yep. Yeah, she was a threat. World on Fire was a threat. And then having two of them in the same fight was already basically. Uh, Oh, it was pretty much a whole nuke going off anyway. Alright, next Drinking is... Drinking a cold drink at that time was pretty much the only way required. of surviving and then drinking potions. Kushala Dior? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, if we're going off this, everybody was annoyed at the wind bound, so no one had rock stated during the time. People do not use it a lot, so... It, it, it's even even in Master Rank going back, it's still a sucky fight because of the wind veil, even with Rocksteady. Oh, uh, so where should we put him? Uh, I would say C? C. C or D. C or D. Well, C, D tier. I'm going to be nice to put him C because he, it was, he had a good design. I still think they should have brought Rusted Cooch. They <laughs> teased it, but never brought it. Val Hazak. A tier. Well, that was quick. I agree. A-T- Fair enough. A to low S. All right. Uh, next one. Hold up. I think there, there we go. Because <laughs> <laughs> for that one. What? What are you talking about? Coulter off. Yeah, try again. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. There you go. Uh, yeah. I was about to say, that's a little bit too high there. <laughs> just Rook turns into a simp. Yeah, let me just put this right back up here. There we go. Alright. Jiva. Wow. Good uh, fight. Two phases. Everybody wanted, I think everybody wanted to see an adult variant of it. Right, that was later though, but Xeno Jiva, you gotta remember, we thought we killed it off the bat. Weren't expecting it to kind of come back. So, where you put basically baby Xeno? Right. A tier. A tier? A tier because the, the music's fucking great. And the fights were actually good. The fight, ba- the battle was actually good too. <laughs> right. I still remember the first time I went in on the fight, and he just kamehameha on me straight away. All right. I'm pretty sure I still have a screenshot of it somewhere. I think I'm going to Zion Zion was the quote unquote end of world. So now we're in the Iceborne. Bird. Born. That, that was the end of the base game. Because, yes. Oh, I have a question. Are we going to count the special mods to, like, Behemoth them? That's what, was, that's what I was about to get to. Would been, then we have the event ones of Behemoth. All right, let me just put them right here so I can remember all of them. If I remember there's only three, right? Three? Yeah. What special monsters? All right, three special ones. So, Behemoth. We're also going with the second variant. It's Extreme Behemoth. Everybody was losing. Everybody got cooked. It's, it's the same thing. I'm going to say eight here. Behemoth is the same fight when you go to Extremis, it just it has more health. Yeah, and people and were raging during that time. Were, right. So we won't... I would put him in A tier because he's a cool fight and he was a crossover event. 
Ah, uh, all right. And we ha- it gave us things like the dragon armor. It gave us uh, the Moogle. Yeah. All right, so now we're it was one of the, the ancient insects for insect life for dragon. All right, so I guess we're on the ancient lesson, right? Lesson and ancient lesson. Are they both the same, or are we gonna? Immediately fuck that fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm too. Like their their fight sucked. It required a either stone or emote to get the crows off, which is annoying. The armor isn't great. The armor is not great. The weapons aren't great. The only cool thing is that. And the one thing I have a problem with, right? Right. The 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 Witcher dual swords. It's not dual swords. It's a sword and shield. Bruh. I, I it's the swords think? that the Witcher uses. Yeah, it's a sword and shield. Not a, now. I'm not a versed person in the Witcher series, so mm-hmm. one sword may be used for absorbing damage. So. It makes makes sense that way, but when I see two swords on somebody, I'm not thinking sword and shield. I'm thinking dual blades. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're on that part. I think the first. I think are we finished with the uh, full world now? Even special. Yes. Then last next one is Bayo Totus, the ice fish. Now, I'm gonna put him at D. Literally at D. We we are missing one. Wait, which one? No. Oh, about this. Oh, uh, no, we are missing one. We are missing one. Which one? Uh, what is it? Bulldozer. Right. Yep, yeah, that one. He was an ice board, right? Correctly. Are you talking about uh, the Bombara? No, um, I'm talking about the one that's in the middle row, final one on the right. Middle row, final row on the right. Yep, that one. That's Shrieking Legiana. Oh, oh. Was that Shrieking was about Iceborne. mid-early uh, Iceborne? We're, right now we're starting at Iceborne, which is Bayotota's the Ice Fish. I really will put him at D. He's literally a joke. Yeah, Bayotota's is a, D, is a joke. Lily, I just started Iceborne. I'm thinking, and phone call. Hello? I'm in a recording session. Hello? Hello? Hey. We've been trying to reach you, but your car's extended warranty. Anything. All right, bye. All right, and done with the phone call. Like I said, D tier, hands so, down. So starting off, so other than Bantonis, we have Bombara, which the other invader spe- species. Which I don't know where to put them at. Because... Wait, what? I, put, I I would put him with you. Put him at B tier because of the armor, aren't you? No, I put him at B tier because one, the armor; two, that I was not expecting that bulldozer attack; three, he also does frost blight. So he does frost blight if he hits you with a snowball with the bulldozer attack. All right, so and it's just a giant bunch of rocks. Where to put him, Bombaro? C or B, in my opinion, he's somewhere C and B. I would put him in B with the other invaders. Because even though he's an invader, he was still easy on. Even I even changed my armor until later on. Like, I don't know when did I change my armor. Now we have... Viper Kadachi. Yep. Viper Toby. Where do we put him? Because he's just a copy-paste. Not a copy-paste of Toby Kadachi, but... but I wouldn't do copy-paste because... Cop- he is he good. He did poison, and he was actually a pretty strong poison. And he was actually a threat. Right. So yeah. where to put... Because his original Toby did... I'll put him at low C. I'll put him in high yeah, C. I'll put him in a C. Because even though he's good, it just... He, he has to be a... Like, like I'm, I'm just saying right now, the way we put him is he was a hard opponent. He had a good boss, good mechanics, etc. like that. I'm going off of everything I did with him. Yeah. Now, we... Pill Cosby. S tier. Yeah, not gonna lie. There's nothing to say about that. This S tier. He, he sleeps. He's, he's basically a threat. He sleeps everybody. If I, if I if I could if I could have one as a pet, I would. <laughs> Put you to sleep while it's on your chest. Sheep. Man, it'd be so easy to fall asleep at night. Man, I can't go to sleep. 
Hey, hey, Puff Puff, hit me with that dust spike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we go to the other Puke Puke Coral. They are called sugar gliders, is what Blue. Yeah, it's an actual bat called sugar gliders, yeah. They're adorable, though. Oh, yes. Now we're on to water wa waterbender coral puka puke. I was say waterbender uh, Nemio? No, second uh, off knockoff waterbender, knockoff wonderbender. Uh, coral puka puke. There you go. I think coral puka puke should be a little higher than normal puka because the attacks do change. Where's puka puka exactly in the list? There you go. C, so he's B then. Yeah, I would put him in B only because. His attacks are different compared to the normal one. Like his uh, his whole spitting water attack, and then he uses his tongue to split it. Yep. Yeah. Which we all know, we've all been hit by that. It's like, ha, I dodged it, and then he splits it. He gets, yeah, he gets fucking molly whopped. All right, I guess the next one is Burial, right? Burial. right. Yeah. What do you want to say about him? Ice what do you want to say about him? We won't put him. He, to me personally, he is a B in my opinion because even though yeah, I'll agree with that B tier. He yeah, didn't. I'd, I'd put him in a B. I was gonna say the reasoning, but I guess everybody's agreeing to B. But reasoning is the only thing that I see him. He's a good wyvern. I think it was pseudo wyvern. I think it was classified under. Uh, flying wyvern. Flying wyvern. Thank you. Yeah, flying wyvern. Uh, he was a good flying wyvern. Actually, a good um enemy to actually learn more and. <laughs> And it actually flew. Yep. So B. Um, next one is Nargakuga. Yeah, the, the, like the, uh, Nar a tier. Yeah. The black the Panther stayed today for a reason. If if they had brought in Lucid Nargakuga, I would have put Lucent in S tier. But the only yeah. difference now between the two, because the difference that Lucent Nargakuga had to normal Nargakuga is that the double tail swipe is what Lucent Nargakuga did, other than just being invisible. Uh, All right. They added the double tail swipe to Nargakuga's uh, move pool. All right, let's see. Next one is. And two, the armor looks good on both male and female. Glavinous? Uh, Glavinous. Uh, honestly? If you if very quickly if if very quickly how it was Glavinus was split into two if it was the true Glavinus I don't know what to put him in. If it was true Glavinus I would say, I say a like low A to S, but I'm kind of agreeing with Mage C. C it is. I put, I put him in C is because as much as as much as the fight was cool to look at aesthetically he did heat. You would think that a guy who has a sword for a tail would do bleed proc, but he didn't. <laughs> he forgot about it. Unless the bleed's gonna, unless the bleed proc is gonna be canceled because of the fire, because it's also uh, like, um, what is the word? Like basically close the wounds when they burn or cuts. Cauterized. Yeah. Oh, well, even that, even when his tail's not heated. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Tigrex. Tigrex. Where did we uh, want to put him? He's a nuisance. As much as I hate this bite, I'll put it at a C tier. <laughs> Mate, you? I would, put him at, I would put him at C as well. Because he's a flying wyvern that doesn't fly. He's more brute wyvern than anything. Doesn't do any statuses. Yeah, he just like, basically runs at you. Maybe a stun. Right. Wait, did they not bring in Molten Tigrex? They only brought in Brute. They only brought Brute. They only brought in Brute. Oh. Next one is Bracadios, which, again, one of my favorite monsters. I would put him at A or B, but people might put him in C. I'd put him in B. I'll put him in yeah, B. Yeah, B. Because his fight was actually more... Him actually doing an explosive, you literally had to, you know. Right, like, you actually had to focus on your blast light. Uh, uh, Brother Thorne, can you tell uh, Promlanth that we're in a recording session? Thank you.
All right. Should have locked the party. I should have. I forgot about it. All right. Shh. There goes everybody's favorite. Here come the newest and everybody's favorite. Shrieking Legiana. There you go. It's time. Shrieking Legiana. Let's see. That fight sucked. Where you put it in? You. D tier. D tier? D tier. Should I make another should, should I make another tier list for F just in case? <laughs> should have just had F to begin with. Well, no, cuz yeah, cuz then our answers are going to change immediately. All right. Well, I guess we'll just do the where's shrieking? Where is it? Where is that thing? There it is. D. D. The fight sucked. The armor was cool, but the the fight sucked. All right. Next one is Fulgor Anjanav. Basically Anjanav. a simple fight. I don't know what to say. Simple fight. I would uh, um, I feel almost as if it's a copy face. I, I wouldn't put copy face because the there were moves that were different. Yeah, like but in open mouth. You know when you saw that and you were staring down his throat, it was the most terrifying <laughs> thing you saw. No. Yeah. I'll put him at B. I'll put him at B because I actually because liked it. It's actually one of the first few fights I struggled with because the armor I was using was negative to Lightning. I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember what boss I fought until I had to change my armor. I'm trying to remember it. I was still using Draken armor with Cool Terrell. I'm trying to remember what I changed it during the fight during Ice Bowl. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> then but, what? Um next one is Acidic Glavinus. And that one I will put a copy paste because the only thing they changed is that. Uh, instead of doing fire, he does this weird acid pool thing that's not really a blight. All right, so future as well. Future. Next one is Ebony, which okay. I'm gonna put that one at an A tier. Yeah, yeah, I put that one higher because he actually was a cool fight and actually did proper blights with a breath attack. All right, the queen of the prison yard. Belkana. There it is. Where to put her? Uh, B tier. B? I was B thinking. For big bitch. B for the fight, A just because music. So, B or A, depending. Somebody. Low A, high B. Yep. Alright, where's Belkana? There. Music to me in that was lovely. Low A. Um, uh, next one should be C. No, he's different. <laughs> Dang. Are you serious? I will agree. D tier? D tier. Dang, you could. He, he is a, I wouldn't say copy paste, but a, sure, he has a quote unquote ultimate move that he just kind of spirals in the air and places all of his bombs. All right. I have. I have heard Fortunate Son too many times, D tier. <laughs> Fortunate Son, what do you mean? I'm sitting there looking up and I just see, here comes the sun. Here, here comes, comes the, the crimson chin. <laughs> the crimson chin. All right, Black Veil of Sock. Yeah. Knowing your answer is either A or S. Black Veil, Val Hazak, I'm going to put at a high A. Yeah, I'm I'd put him at an A. No. Yeah, I would say. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where did we put Valazak Norm? A. <laughs> okay, that's fine because now I just remembered that. I just remembered that the Valazak, the normal Valazak, it was either normal or uh, Black Veil. But one of them had the uh, the Resident Evil crossover event. Regular. Black Veil. Yeah, Valazak Black Veil. had the Resident yeah. Evil crossover <laughs> event. That was a fun event. I would honestly put it at an F, but that's my own opinion. He's in the high A. I put him at high A for a reason. Yeah, I'd put him in an A plus if he had that category. Do it, scare it. I'll make it right quick. I'll make another one. Wait, what? Uh, label. Add a row below. Uh, a plus. I bet you better capitalize that, eh? The, the. Give me a second. <laughs> Wrong button. There you go. A plus. There you go. Now you can 
Hey, you moved Val into the, or Black Val into that. There you go. Now what? Nami? Nami O. Yep. The jellyfish of the sea. And... B. I honestly B? I put them in B because it is a good fight, but at the same time, to get your, uh, to get things like life steal onto your weapons, you actually have to farm him out because you need the one item that drops from it from the tempered fight. True. And it's a hassle to grind. Next is the Dark Pickle. Savage. Dark Pickle. I'm biased on this. Lordy, I'm gonna... I turn myself into a pickle. Again. I'm biased on this because Hunting Horn, Savage Devil Joe's Hunting Horn was the one I used for the longest time. I'm 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 a little bit biased as well, so I'm always thinking to put him in C or D. I my problem is I'd put him at A because he he was a fun fight. The only problem was he was a nuisance every time. Oh, all all invader species are a nuisance. Next one is That's kind of like their job. Next one is the everybody's grind year of getting to Ruin and Urgante. Ruin C tier, because he was a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Sketch is gonna appear, invites invites oh, Black Mage to a party. <laughs> Just invites Black Mage to a choke and a half. <laughs> I- I'm putting Ruiner at S tier. I'm putting him at I'm not saying nothing because I'm gonna keep myself mouth shut. He was he was a joke and he's literally used for one thing, and that is for large elder dragon uh jabs. We're talking about the same one for a hundred rank, uh, master rank hundred, not a hundred, right? Yeah, it, it does require master rank hundred as well. Yeah. So I you, can already hear sketchy cursing. That's only the video gets posted. <laughs> Sharish Balder. What? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna put the fight at a B tier because that thing scared me when it opened its eyes. A tier because it scared A tier because of the final flash. I would say I would put it in A tier just because like literally all of its moves in phase two were pretty much a Dragon Ball Z reference. <laughs> Gather yeah. my energy for the wind spirit bomb. Yeah, and I'm one of those guys that'll stand center of the field and tank the thing and laugh. Next one is Tristan's favorite, Zenogre. I will put Flippy the dog at Flippy the dog. B tier. Yeah, I'll put Flippy at B. B. Yeah. Um, Scardy or Yingaruga. Yingaruga. I'll just do Scard at the same time because they're pretty much copy paste. All right, where's Scard? Let me check. There they are. All right, where you want to put them? D tier. But that, that, dang. It is. They're both literally just lawn darts. Brute Tigrex. D tier immediately. <laughs> no, 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 no. Brute Tigrex was different. Was the was Brute. <laughs> when Brute Tigrex roared, he actually dealt damage. He was the yeah. first monster to do Have that. Have you seen his ribs collapse when he does that? D tier. Fuck that fight. <laughs> you, hey, you know, <laughs> recording, stop cursing that hard. I would put him in B because he actually was different. B for brute. Agreed. Gold Raffian and Silver Raffian, since they're both since they're both you know a two pairs of the pod. They're, they're copy pastes, just with more health. But with a cooler, with a hyper venom. And different colored flames. So we won't put them. The same place as we did the other clothes. Agreed. <laughs> Dang, dang. I feel like Skin's going to cook us. Yeah, like I said, they're, they're just copy-paste with different colored flames and skins. Their poisons are the same places to their corresponding counterparts. All they right. Just look for gear and uh, they just Eight more to go. Harder. Eight more to go. Let's see. We got, next one is Rajang. Bum, bum, ba da 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 PTSD tier. <laughs> should, should I make another tier list for PTSD? Yes. Uh, honestly, put it below D. Oh, okay. A 
monster that got way too overhyped. That was still. And don't get me wrong. I thought the fight was cool. Though your boy became fast as shit. All right, Roger. PTSD. <laughs> like he was, he was fast for no reason. All right. No, don't worry, Roger. If you might as well put, you might as well put them. You might as well put the Super Saiyan monkey in there. <laughs> oh, he's a demon brain. He, he's super PTSD. <laughs> because, don't get me wrong, I thought their moves were cool. Wait, we're not oh, at that We're not even at that point yet, so never mind. We can't. Next one is uh, Safi Jiva since we're... Wait, no, Stingy Janogre. Stingy? That one I will put higher than normal Janogre. So, um, I agree. Oh, so, so A. So, A tier. Next one is Safi Jeeva, the, the simple, gentle sailor. S tier. Uh, that, that was a good fight. It's flight. a good fight. It's a good fight, but it's also a siege. Fair so, enough. Yeah. So, I B? I would put it in A. See, with Cold, at least now we actually have a fight where we can go actually fight it without it being a siege. All right. Now yeah. we're at. That, it's still only a siege. All right. Now we're at the finals. We're at the five the five finals. AKA uh-huh. we're at Fierce Rajang. Fierce Rajang, I will put in a B personally, because I did fight find the fight fun and two, it is a gateway for one of the uh most used layer diamonds in the game being B. I would put it in PTSD tier. <laughs> You're scared of the thing. <laughs> me me fighting on a daily basis. Do you not remember the event quest where you had to fight two of them? And they were yeah, tempered. That's what talking about the Razzle Dazzle Frazzle, I think is what it called, or Double Monkey Madness. Or I got it. I'm gonna go check it real quick. I'm at the. Uh, that's the. The event should be up, right? The one, that's the one I was talking about. It's like it is a good fight normally, and a lot of its moves are really cool looking, like aesthetically pleasing. I remember they gave Which, us nine lives. Absolutely, like Super Saiyan, uh, wrong form, body slam, but it's still cool to look at. He beams. He opens his mouth, beams you, then he just literally RKO yeah, out of nowhere. Attacks, like when Rajan grabs somebody, jumps in the air, and slams down. He actually can damage other players. I thought he was talking about the Mew or number one. Somebody. I thought he was going to talk about the Mew number one. With the one would give us five feints. Uh, yeah. That's nightmare Wait, fuel. Will grab you, proceed to jump in the air, and if you are just so happy to be underneath that poor unfortunate soul that's standing underneath him, you did damage the same amount as that dude in Rajang's fist. All right, next one should be Bergadios. Raging, Rage, Raging Breath. Yeah, where to put him? Because he actually had oh, a, oh he was so, actually good. Yeah. I would put B as well because the beginning portion of the fight sucks. But the moment you get him in the final stand, it becomes so much simpler. Final stand music is also pretty kick ass. Now we're at yeah. Frost Frank Burial. C. <laughs> All right, C. All right, do we really need to? Okay, Alachion and Fatalis, they're the finals. Alatrion, I do like the fight. I do like the weapons. I do love everything. The only pro- the- I put Alatrion at a high A. He, the only thing I have to say about it is because, again, you have to be... L- last Before World, the other Monster Hunter one, I think it came out Generations. I might be thinking, I might be thinking about it. But I'm only... The, the element problem, the element check, that's the only thing I have to say about it. We won't put him. A latch on. I said, uh, uh, Brother Thorne said A. I said, I don't, I can't, I was, I said, it's either, I either said S or A because, again, it's a good fight. Element check. Yeah, yeah, etc. Element check. Sure. I would put him in A plus. All right. Yeah, A plus. No. Because, yes, the, the fight is pleasingly good. Like, especially him activating his Eschaton Judgment. There's nothing to say about Fatalis. Fatalis is S-tier, all the rip. <laughs> he literally yeah. shook yeah. up everything. Well, 
That was it. Like and subscribe and see you later.